What's up, modern steaders? Today, we're going to be starting onion sets inside some soil blocks. Let's get to it. The onion sets we got are just from our local feed store. They're just yellow onions. They couldn't tell me what kind they were. They get them in a 50 pound bag, I believe, or a 100 pound bag, and they bag them up into a brown paper bag. I got a pound of them for $2.50. They're all different sizes. What I'm going to do is I'm not using the big ones. I'm going to be using the smaller ones just because they fit inside the soil block hole nicely. We're going to be looking for the smaller ones that fit nicely in the divot of the soil blocks. You want the bulb protruding out so it can grow. So if you get the smaller ones, they f end up fitting. Look at that. So you take the medium sized ones. This one's actually even already started. Perfect. So you just take the smaller ones you can find. The bigger ones we can just plant outside later if we still need some. But let's see how these do inside. They almost look like little Hershey Kisses. So cute. Most of them fit in there snugly that you don't need to do anything else with the soil. A few of them are smaller so I'm just Gotta make the soil a little bit tight around there, but for the most part, I'm just pushing them in, pushing them down, and snugging them up. I'm just gonna put the onion sets right on our heat mat, cover them up. And we'll come back and check on them in a couple of days. I'll give you guys an update. Oh, while we're here, let me show you how the other plants are doing. Sorry about that. The grow light kind of makes the camera all go funky. But these are the potatoes we've started from our food, from the scraps that have started going bad and growing airs. They're doing really good. Here is some onions we started from seed. I'm happy with those. The tomatoes. These are the first few tomatoes that we started from, I think they were like five-year-old seeds from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. We've had decent luck with a few of them. The broccoli and cauliflower, same thing. Over here we have some more broccoli and cauliflower. These were from the High Mowing Company. We just bought them this year. Here's some more of our tomato plants. These ones are doing awesome. I mean, look at that. They've been here, I think, a few weeks now, and they greened up nice. You can see the roots starting to grow out of the soil block, so I'm really happy with that. They're looking good. If you smell them, they smell like tomatoes. You know what that reminds me of? Summertime and BLTs. Yeah, baby. These are purple Cherokee, so these make really good BLTs. Over here we have some medicinal herbs that we got, and they're doing really good. Those were from Anna from Salt in My Coffee blog. Thanks, Anna. Last but not least, we got the peppers that we started from our food scraps from the store bought orange pepper so those are only about a week and a half old and those are looking nice another trick we've been doing I don't know if you guys can see can you see the plants moving so we put our fan I'll show you we got our fan blowing on them and what this does is it helps strengthen up the plants and makes them more meatier and hardier so they're not just long string beanie plants you want them to be beefed up fat strong so when they go outside they're already hardied off show you this tomato can you see how nice and round that stalk is you know that tomato it's got some mass to it it's not just a little thin thing and that's what we want we want a nice fat stocky plant that's gonna be good and strong when we go outside so that's why you put the fan on I don't leave it on all day and all night I put it on probably like 8 or 12 hours just to give them a nice light little breeze and that shakes them and it gets them to get stockier and stronger. The fan's nothing special. The fan is nothing special. The fan's just a regular house fan. I just keep it some distance away on low. We don't want them blowing the plants over. We just want them shaking them a little bit. So, I hope that was a helpful tip. Maybe you didn't know it. If you did, okay, we heard it again. What tips and tricks do you have for starting plants? Do you start them inside, outside? What zone are you in? We're in northern New Hampshire, so I believe it's, we're in zone 4B, so we don't get to start until later in May. But 
I'm not complaining. We're gonna start what we can inside, give them a good extra little boost. We'll get them outside a little bit earlier and sooner and hopefully we'll be eating some fresh veggies. And maybe have a nice BLT before you know it. So thanks guys for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe while you're down there and leave as many comments as you want. I love interacting with you guys and having some conversations, going back and forth, some good dialogue. And we can get a, some good dialogue going with each other and then we get some other viewers in on the conversation too. So thanks for watching. We'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres where we're always trying to change and challenge our status quo and I challenge you to change your status quo.